Welcome back, everyone. We are down to the wire. It can be easy to feel overwhelmed by all the to-dos of the Christmas season. Don't remind me that we're down I to know. the wire. Okay, GTU contributor Kat Palmer is here oh. to help us remove the stress of the holidays mm -hmm. by starting a new holiday tradition. I yes. love that we're talking about this. Yes, me too. And I think we talked about last year how I gave up the 25th with my children. Well, we're giving it up with my partner's children as well. Um, I think that, you know what, it's just a day of the year. And we found out one of the adult kids had four Christmases to go to. That's too much. And you know what, we want to spend more than five minutes with her. And so we said, you know what, go do your other Christmases with your boyfriend's family and, you know, your dad and stuff. And we will do Christmas on the 26th. So it's not like you're forgetting about it. You're no. just doing it on a different day. Right, because we want to have a relaxing day. We don't want kids mm -hmm. feeling stressed. I don't want my kids to stop what they're doing with dad. And so we are celebrating on the 26th. And you know what, we're not doing it early. I don't have little kids. So we're doing a late brunch. Oh, that sounds perfect. Yeah. Well, you probably relieved some stress from her as well right. to say you already have four to go to. Go to your Take one ones. off your plate. You right. know, I think about single moms or any parents who share custody. Right. The holidays change. Your feelings about them change. And you have to get creative and say, it's just one day of the year. I can have that special celebration Absolutely. another time. Absolutely. And this year, too, we also did away with traditional gift wrapping. Um, we decided we're not really into it, and the great thing about it, any leftover wrapping paper we have, we can use throughout the year. And so this is the theme we went through, went for this year underneath our tree, and we absolutely love it. I think it looks gorgeous under our tree, and now we can use this wrapping paper throughout the year, and we're kind of loving the theme. I love it too. It's not just all Christmassy. It, it's just as very, like, neutral. Yeah, very yeah. simple, very plain, and the kids are loving it this year as well. Um, and so anything, I think, if it brings you joy, keep it, absolutely. If it brings you joy making a big fancy feast, do that. That does not bring us joy. And so we gave that up for Thanksgiving and we are just focused on making food that the kids love and that we love making for the children. We love making pies, so we're gonna keep that, but we've thrown everything else out. And so, so what's important, you maybe you have one, two or three things mm -hmm. or even less, and then everything else is just icing on the cake. If right. it happens, it happens. Right, exactly. So we're saying no to stress and we're saying yes to new traditions and just focusing on what makes us happy and what makes the kids happy because you don't have to keep the things that you don't enjoy doing. It's okay to say no. Just because you've always done it that way, it's okay to say no to those things. You're so right. And sometimes it takes being an adult to realize that we mm -hmm. can do that. It can be anything that we want it to be. There's no rules. You're also yeah. talking about gift giving for friends. Yes. So I love my friends. I love my my friends, I love you, Dina. I love you. She does. It's true. I love my friends. I love celebrating them, and I love supporting local. And so, really fun gift ideas. If you have something that you're obsessed with in your life, give that to your friends. So, one of the things I'm obsessed with is this coffee cup. If you have just anything that you're obsessed with, give that to your friends. And you can pair it. If, if you have coffee drinkers, find your favorite coffee locally. If they're not coffee drinkers, do hot chocolate, do tea. Pair, pair it up, and you can give that to your friends. Um, wine tumblers for people that go to Red Butte. Or entertain in their backyard, you can pair that up with wine or you can pair that up with a uh, sparkling cider if they don't drink. Um, those are really easy and look gift how cute ideas. You right. Them. You can buy these in bulk online. Just Google, you know. And these are your true gifts. Yeah, like, these are you didn't just wrap we're this up for <laughs> we're playing for Santa TV after this. So. Yeah. yeah, and we're delivering these to our friend's house. So I hope none of my friends are watching. <laughs> just kidding, I hope well, you're all watching. This is what so you guys, get. this is what you're getting. Also in the fall, we head down to Hell's Backbone and we stock up on their items there. And what you, is that place? Um, oh my goodness, it is one of the most brilliant restaurants and farms um, that we luckily have it here in Utah, in Boulder, Utah. It's an experience too, it's isn't it, to travel there. Experience. And what's that, what did you get there? So this is their gluten-free gingerbread mix, and then this is their biscuit mix. They have jams, they have all sorts, and you can go online, and it's on my blog. You can go online and purchase things and have it shipped to your house, but they just make the most brilliant foods. And so I love stocking up in their, their pantry or on their online gift shop and filling things for my friends' baskets um, because they just have delicious foods. Well, you love that it's local and it's something mm -hmm. from you. It's so personal. Absolutely, and so I, I customize depending on what my what my friends are into. That's what we, we give them, and so it's super fun. And then also, I love hex press printing. So any anybody that makes local things, I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can check this out here. So she does a lot of fun shirts. She also does tea towels. 
Um, oh, it's soft it's too. It's super soft, isn't and that And what's fun? on it? So that's an octopus. Oh, that's cute. Hopefully mm -hmm. that's for my friend's birthday. There is something we'll special though about yeah. you giving the things you truly love, the things that you seek out, they're special. Friends mm -hmm. might not know about these places or these items. Right. And it means so much. And we keep a little basket and mm -hmm. then we just like, we, do, we start in September. And we just keep a little basket and we keep adding to the little baskets um, as we see things for our friends. Trader Joe's was selling um, these Oh, newspaper the ba baskets. <gasps> They're made out of newspaper. Uh -huh, so That's we thought cool. this would be a fun thing to s stuff. Uh -huh. This is this one's going to Pat Bagley and because he was at the Tribune, yeah. you know. And so I thought that would be fun oh, to put like oh, his. Perfect. Isn't that cute? Yes. Right? yes. And so I thought that'd be fun to like oh, look put at these his arrangements gifts. too. Oh, those were also from Trader Joe's. <laughs> cute. <laughs> so. Okay, Kat, we love these mm -hmm. tips. We love everything that you have done here today. Follow Kat, her website right there on the screen, katpalmer.com. Thank you so much. Oh, we love mm -hmm. when you're here. Oh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Holidays, 